If you're looking for reasons to be excited about this upcoming season, if you're looking for bright spots, then look no further than Kirby Doc because, man, the guy keeps looking better and better every time I see him play. A couple of nights ago against the Toronto Maple Leafs, he was what I like to call rock solid. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, you probably seen my video yesterday pointing out how he was involved in A4. Hebs goals during regulation, but if you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably missed it. So let's take a quick look. The very first goal of the game was scored by Matthias Norlander, believe it or not, on the power play. But before this kid scores his goal, let me pause it right here. Look who's blocking Samsonov's line of vision, right as Norlander's about to shoot the puck. It's Kirby Doc and Dr. Mulder's very own crash disc dummy, Sean Monaghan, also known as Bending Out. And while it might not look like Doc did a whole lot here, sometimes it's the, the little details without the puck that goes unnoticed, you know what I mean? Moving on quickly now to the Canadian's second goal, which was scored by Mr. Kirby Doc himself. You're gonna see him win a board battle against the Leafs' very own wealthy Selkie Austin Matthews. And not only does he win the battle, but he goes right to the net. Number 34 on the Leafs decides, you know, hey, I don't get paid enough for this shit. He kind of allows the two-on-one to unfold, not gonna lie. Sean Monaghan finds Doc, Doc finds the back of the net, and what a beauty. Now let's take a look at goal number three for the Canadians, and this kind of went unnoticed when it happened live. But this goal doesn't even happen without Kirby Doc. First he pulls off a fancy little spinorama, wins another puck battle, gets it over to Yorai Slavkovsky. Slaffy Taffy hands it off to Black Eye, who also had a good game. Jack Eye sits up Honda Civic, and Honda Civic is just on cruise control, boys. What a shot, he makes it look easy. Doc doesn't get a point on this play, but again, none of it happens without him. Remember that. Some people can drive the play, some people ride shotgun, and some people are just, their passengers. But Doc, trust me, he's always in the driver's seat. You don't just get tinted visors like these without driving, boys. And now finally, on the goal that ties the game, we got Kirby Doc doing a little stutter step, gets the puck past noise to find Josh Anderson, and Anderson does what he does best. He destroys the Leafs, you gotta love it. But this game was a perfect example of what a guy like Kirby Doc brings to the lineup. Look, Doc is one big ass centerman. He's six foot four, 212 pounds of maple leaf wieners, the big ones. And not only does he look like a monster, but he plays like a monster. He's chippy. He can be a bit of an agitator at times. Last season, he put up 38 points in 58 games. He was also a respectable minus two in the plus minus department, which yes, does sound kind of shitty. But guess what? There was no forward who played over 40 games last season in the Canadiens lineup that had a better plus minus than Kirby Doc. He's only 22 years old, which makes him two years younger than the Canadiens captain, Nick Suzuki. And while I'm not saying that he's going to be better than Suzuki, this is not what I'm getting at at all here. But what I am saying is that he's got all the tools and all the potential to be a top-line centerman in the NHL. He's one of my favorite Habs players right now. And let's just say I really hope that he lives up to the hype. But just to be clear, okay, he's not a god. He's not Michael Pozzetta. His hair isn't even close. And he's still got a lot of work ahead of him at the faceoff dot, especially if they want to pair him up against some of the top lines in the NHL. And aside from all that, most importantly, he's got to stay healthy, okay? No more wrestling with Jeff Gordon after the games, guys. I don't even care if Gordon gets down on his hands and knees and begs him because we don't need guys getting hurt from wrestling gordon okay look what he did to sean monahan last year look what he did to johnny drouin one rikishi stink face and he was never the same boys but anyway the good news is i feel like doc has been on a steady incline since being acquired from the chicago blackhawks i think he got progressively better as last season went on and so far we can say the same about the preseason so let's see where it takes him. You can let me know how you feel about him right now down in the comment section. Don't forget to judo chop the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.